I've always thought it was kind of funny that my art teachers, my music teachers, and everything that I've done creatively, those that led me never ever said creativity is an addiction. It has the strength to bury you. Bury you in ways that really bring injury more than victory. But yet we keep going because that's what we do as creative people. So I, I started living a life of creativity is the addiction and I treat it as such. So I listen to it a lot. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I know losing my father would hurt. But what I didn't realize was that there was going to be a huge roar of emptiness. In looking back, reading the words, it was I who created the giant hole. For just over six years, these weekly entries into this journal. It's provided a path with a connection that leads me away from what I generated during those moments when I heard of my father's loss. We didn't lead the perfect life. We didn't have a beautiful home. He didn't play baseball with me, nor did he have a religious background with me. And yet six years and a few months after his passing, the vibration of my soul is that of true love for his spiritual presence. Standing one year outside of becoming 60, I see and hear my father speaking as well as reacting. He and my mother planted inside my soul this drive to work hard. There's no clock on the wall. You've got to stay there till the job is done. When I come to this journal, I feel very close to that emptiness. My father is present. Both he and my brother are right here with me at all times. Every breath I take, they're always with me. I don't know why the spiritual leaders of this particular day, which was July 17th, 2021, wanted me to write about that emptiness. Because as much as I want to call it what I think it is, the reality is it's an openness. Not an emptiness, but an openness. The experiences that I had with my father as well as my brother were things that I can talk about for the rest of my life. And without them being present in human form and shape, you would think, well, I understand. You've got emptiness. They're not here. When in fact, the heart is saying, no, it's openness. It's openness to go grow in newer areas to create different paths while still being connected because spiritually it's, it's written down. They're still with me every single day. So it's that openness that we have to find faith in and trust in to have the hope to grow beyond what we call emptiness. See, it's the difference between are you really depressed or are you just in a place of being normal? There are so many things that are around us at all times that we're way up here feeling great movies and music and the excitement of spending the almighty dollar. And then when things start to slow down, then it's like, well, oh, I must be depressed then. When in reality, you're probably just being normal. Always seek an expert because they know more. But I'm just saying, look at what's really taking place. Sure. I lost my father. Sure, I lost my brother. Sure, I felt tremendous pain. But the openness has replaced the emptiness. I'm Errol. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest. <laughs>